any negative emotion can be changed by pulling it out, spinning it, changing the spin, putting it back in. You will change the way your brain has programmed and stored that emotion. One of the most powerful techniques you can use for personal change and personal growth is called the spin or the spinning technique. This has been variously attributed to Dr. Richard Bandler, John Overdorf, and our friend, trainer David Snyder. We don't know who came up with it, but by putting all three names on there, we've at least credited somebody. This is not our technique, but we use it because it works. The amazing thing is, as David Snyder says, is if you can point to where you feel something, you can change it. And that's how this works. All emotions can be felt in the physical body, if you think about it. And by being able to identify where the emotions are, we can change them, we can activate them, we can move them, we can do things with those emotions. I'll give you the example of how the spin works. Let's say you've got a feeling you don't like, uh, you feel upset. Ask yourself, where in my body do I feel this? Point to it. If I feel upset, I might feel a tension in my chest. Then ask yourself, which direction is it moving? Concentrate on it. It has to be moving, otherwise you wouldn't be able to feel it. And you'll notice, yeah, maybe it's, it's moving in a circle like this. So imagine you grab it, pull it out in front of you in space, it's still moving. Now reverse the spin the other direction. And now speed it up so it's going really fast. Now grab it and shove it back in and check. And notice it's changed. Do you like the way it's changed? If you like it, leave it like that. If you don't like it, notice again which way it's moving, take it out, change the spin, change the direction, Put it back in, slam it back in, and notice again that it's changed. The interesting thing about this is you're changing something called submodalities, the way your brain codes experience. You're not doing a psychological trick on yourself. You're actually changing the software in your brain by doing this. Repeat as needed until things are better. Now, let's say you have another emotion. Let's say it's something like sadness. You don't have to go with the feeling of it moving. You can say, where is this in my body? Oh, I feel it in the pit of my stomach, whatever and say to yourself, if it had a color, what color would it be? Okay, maybe yellow or whatever. So we'll say it's a yellow ochre. And you imagine that yellow ochre, pull that out in front of you in space, imagine the yellow there, spin it really, really fast, play around with it, shove it back in. Notice, has the color changed? Has the feeling changed? Everything you do by removing it in your imagination, making it external, changing it there and putting it back in will have an effect on how you perceive that emotion. Any negative emotion can be changed by pulling it out, spinning it, changing the spin, putting it back in. Now we're adding color just for variance. You can add color if you want. But the main idea is to find out the direction it's spinning, keep it spinning in front of you in space, speed it up, reverse it, slam it back in. And by doing that, you will change the way your brain has programmed and stored that emotion. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and add comments. We'd like to hear from you. Thank you.